Looking for a movie filled with surprises? Look no further than The Domino Principle. Released in 1977, the film is packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you glued to your seat. But before we dive into all the details, let me ask you, do you have a special memory associated with it? Whether it's watching it with friends, discussing its twists and turns, or simply reminiscing about its effects on your life, we want to hear your stories. Share your favorite memory or personal experience related to the movie in the comments below. Don't hold back, we're all ears. So if you're ready for a roller coaster ride of emotions, grab some popcorn and hit play. You won't want to miss a moment. Keep watching for more facts about this engaging film. And remember, we're eager to hear your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Let's get the conversation started. The Domino Principle is a movie from 1977 that seems to have faded into obscurity over time. While it has some good parts, it's not really a well-known or popular movie. Gene Hackman does a good job, as usual, and Candace Bergen, despite some past criticism, also does well. The movie starts with a story that makes you curious, slowly revealing more as it goes on. But it's quite slow, especially when it comes to the main character getting out of prison and understanding what the mysterious organization is up to. Unfortunately, it's not very clear who they're targeting with their plan. Directed by Stanley Kramer, the movie feels pretty ordinary, lacking the special style you might expect from such a famous filmmaker. Overall, while the domino principle has its good moments, its slow speed and lack of clarity make it less impactful. In comparison, it's similar to other conspiracy-themed movies like The Parallax View, Executive Action, and Enemy of the State. It's a story where it's hard to tell who's good and who's bad, different from the neat endings you often see on TV shows. I remember liking the movie when I first saw it, but I don't remember all the details now. Still, I'd say it's worth watching, especially if you're into stories about big businesses doing shady things and messing with people's minds. Watch it along with similar movies for a themed movie marathon, and then come back to real life where things are usually simpler than they seem. The Domino Principle, a movie from 1977, has interesting connections within the film industry. The director was offered the chance to direct The Silence of the Lambs in 1991. Furthermore, the lead actor was considered for the famous role of Dr. Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs before Anthony Hopkins got the part. Additionally, a notable actress in The Domino Principle is best known for her roles in the Star Trek series. She played nurse Christine Chappell in the original Star Trek series and later appeared as Elwoxana Troy in Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. She also portrayed Amanda Grayson in Star Trek, the animated series. These connections reveal the diverse talents involved in the movie and their influence on other significant projects in the industry. The Guinness Book of World Records recognizes the domino principle for the longest movie career spanning 86 years from the early days of silent cinema to the dawn of the digital age. Throughout his time in the spotlight, he amazed audiences with his talent and versatility. Aside from acting, he also showed his writing skills with the release of The Search for Sunny Skies, a novel in 1995. This book solidified his status as a talented artist. He shared memorable moments with actors like Steve McQueen. Their collaboration began in McQueen's first major success, The Magnificent Seven, where their on-screen chemistry left a lasting impression on cinema history. Their partnership came full circle in his final film, The Hunter, bringing his career to a touching end. His influence on the film industry inspires countless aspiring actors and filmmakers. His impact on cinema and literature remains significant, showing his lasting influence on popular culture. In entertainment history, few names shine as brightly as the domino principle. His journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood stardom will always be remembered and celebrated. The Domino Principle is a 1970s conspiracy movie that belongs to a mini-cycle of films including Clute, Chinatown, Blowout, Executive Action, Winter Kills, The Conversation, Marathon Man, The Parallax View, Three Days of the Condor, and All the President's Men. During an interview on Fresh Air, he revealed that he learned to ride horses at the University of Texas where he took care of the polo ponies. He also mentioned that during the filming of The Magnificent Seven, he would ride a few hours each morning with his gang. Initially reluctant to take the role of Lex Luthor in Superman the movie, he didn't want to shave off a mustache he had recently grown. However, Richard Donner made a deal with him that if he shaved it off, Donner would shave off his as well. After he did so, Donner revealed that the mustache he was wearing was a fake, which made him instantly respect 
and liked Donner immensely. The Domino Principle is a movie from 1977 with an interesting story behind it. The main actor who tried out for a role in The Graduate based his character in the conversation on someone he knew, describing him as possibly having traits of a serial killer. In the movie, there's a crucial scene set in a big private estate with a huge 80-foot swimming pool in Carlsbad, California. The assassination happens in this fancy setting, adding to the interest of the storyline. The Domino Principle tells an engaging story with these unique details, making it a memorable movie for viewers. The Domino Principle, directed by Stanley Kramer, was one of his last movies before he made his final film, The Runner Stumbles, about two years later. Gene Hackman, the main actor, felt down because his previous films, Scarecrow and The Conversation, didn't do well. Some scenes in the beginning of the movie were filmed at San Quentin State Penitentiary after getting special permission. The Domino Principle highlights Kramer's skill as a director and showcases Hackman's acting talent despite the difficulties they faced. The Domino Principle, released in 1977, features Henry Fonda alongside an actor who maintained privacy about personal matters during interviews. This actor starred in six films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, winning twice for The French Connection and Unforgiven. The Domino Principle is one of five films he shared with Henry Fonda. It's a thriller exploring conspiracy and intrigue, a hidden gem in his filmography. The movie showcases his talent in a gripping narrative that keeps viewers on edge. With its stellar cast and suspenseful plot, it remains a noteworthy entry in cinema history. The Domino Principle, a 1977 movie, was retitled The Domino Killing for its UK release. It was paired with Love and Bullets, starring Charles Bronson. In The Domino Principle, Edward Albert appeared alongside his wife Anne Jackson, marking their sixth collaboration. Albert's comedic skills were recognized by Lucille Ball, who featured him in episodes of I Love Lucy and The Lucy Show. One notable appearance was in the seance where he portrayed Mr. Merriweather attempting to contact his deceased dog. Gene Hackman, though not proud of his performance in The Domino Principle, admitted he took the role for the money. The movie marked the fifth and final collaboration between cinematographer Ernest Laszlo and producer-director Stanley Kramer. Their earlier works included Ship of Fools, Inherit the Wind, Judgment at Nuremberg, and It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor coincided with Hackman's 26th birthday, while a North Pole Christmas aired on his 94th. The Domino Principle stands as a notable piece in the careers of Hackman, Lasselow, and Kramer.